During any political season, you're going to hear ads that don't, well, ads that don't add up. Sometimes fact finders find few facts among the titillating statistics, and people are put off by the shenanigans. The Jonah Lair scandal pops to mind as one of the most high-profile outrages. Rhodes Scholar, neuroscientist, and author of the best-selling book, Imagine How Creativity Works, Lair resigned in disgrace from the New Yorker magazine when journalist Michael Moynihan exposed that he had made up quotes attributed to Bob Dylan. What can the rest of us learn from this scandal and political seasons of pack ads, pollsters, and pundits? Well, but just this. The Internet has made researching easy. But by the same token, the Internet has made researching for precise, accurate information more difficult. Mistakes proliferate around the globe at the speed of a click. So to build rather than destroy trust as a leader for yourself and your organization, keep the following guidelines in mind and feel free to pass these tips along to those of your staff doing research for you and your presentations and your talking points. One, be wary about facts for which there's really no source listed. If your point or your argument rests on a certain fact, check more than one source to validate it. And two, attribute quotations correctly. While I was doing research for a previous book several years ago, I once found a particular Pascal quote, the true source as verified by a Pascal scholar at the University of California who had referred me to the original Pascal source document. That source was attributed, or that quote, was attributed to no fewer than four other authors, Teddy Roosevelt, Andrew Jackson, Mark Twain, and Winston Churchill. Now, the reference books were all by major U.S. publishers. They were highly reputable, but memories are not.